So what is your biggest surprise so far out the, out the shoot one, one month in? What your biggest surprise so far? Uh, it could be anything, a team, storyline, anything. Mean. Uh, biggest surprise probably Philadelphia, just based on all the uh, chaos that was surrounding them before the season. Yes. I'm not, I, I would say Orlando, too. But the fact that two weeks before the season, we're talking about Embiid, what team is he going to go to when he asks for a trade? <laughs> you're right. Yep. And, and now you're looking at them and saying, you know, they are probably in the best position maybe of any team in the East to go to the finals because they also have assets now to go out and add other players. So not yes. only are they playing great now, but now they've got multiple first-round picks they can move. They've got a bunch of guys on expiring contracts that they can then attach to those to those picks. So, and, and I mean, this is an aside, but I mean, like last night against the Lakers, like Marcus Morris, like totally turned back the clock. I mean, 16 yeah. points and – you know, it was hit, hitting all his threes. I mean, as a team, they went 22 of 46 from three. So, I mean, it's it's just amazing that they took all these guys that the Clippers couldn't find a way to use. And now Batum's starting and playing great. Marcus Morris is coming off the bench and playing great. Covington gets spot minutes. Uh, so, I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But, I mean, all those guys are in that 15 to $20 million range. And, I mean, if you take them and, and attach, like, a cork Maz to them, or, you know, or what have you, and then, you know, a pick or two, you go out and get somebody, you know, I mean, if yeah. like if Toronto flames out, can you get an Ananobi? That would probably be at like the high end of what you'd want to do. But even if they went out and got a guy like a Bojan Bogdanovich, just to stay, you know, stand on the perimeter and shoot threes and play off of Maxi and Embiid, you know, a guy who you feel like with open looks can shoot 40 to 42% from three pretty comfortably play a little bit of defense. Like even if they made a move like that, I think that would be good. Or, you know, getting a backup guard like a Tyus Jones or something like that. Like, I feel like there are moves that they can make that aren't even like the home run swings that can still improve their team. Whereas when I look at Milwaukee and Boston, I don't know that they have the salary on their books. And, you know, the I mean, Boston has the pick flexibility, but I don't know that they have the, the salaries to move in deals like that. I mean, if you look at Boston, I mean, their top six yeah. guys make money and they're not moving any of those six guys. You know, they're not trading Al Horford. They're not trading Derek White. What they have is what they have. That's it. What they have is, is what they are. Whereas I look at Philly and I'm like, Philly's playing great and they have another level they can get to by adding some pieces. And Milwaukee, I mean, like defensively, uh, offensively, they're great. You know, we knew that they'd be great offensively. You know, defensively, you hope that in another 40, 50 games, they figured something out. Uh, I'm a little underwhelmed by the coach thus far for va various reasons. I mean, like, right. I almost feel like Dame and Giannis should be running a pick and roll on every single possession. And the fact that they're not almost makes it seem like the coach is like, you know, I know better than you. We don't have to run pick and roll. We have all these other sets we can get to. It's like, don't try right. it. And, 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 and you saw that thing also that happened on uh, maybe, maybe Sunday or Saturday where Giannis and him and Adrian yeah. got into it a little bit like on the yeah. court a little bit it wasn't i mean not too serious but at the same time some look at going forward first year yeah. coach you know i mean imagine imagine if milwaukee had nick nurse as their coach you know so i mean like you know i think it could have been did he yeah, interview for that yeah. job yeah yeah he did interview for that job and yeah. and and griffin i think was Giannis's guy and i mean I, I just watched philly play and i'm like they are so well coached i mean like i, I watched their game like a week and a half ago against the nets yeah. And, I, and and they were just like totally dominant. I mean, like defensively, they were flying all over the floor. I mean, it was just like last night's game against the Lakers. And B didn't even have to play the fourth quarter. I mean, just, you know, the way that their their offense runs is like a machine right now, and which is, I guess isn't really a good look for Doc Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about uh, 